having your first career start at Cal last weekend? Uh, it was a dream come true, man. Just staying, staying, trusting the process, staying ready. I know Pops always tell me it was a dream come true, but I mean, I couldn't do it without trusting God and my faith. So that was a big part. You had a pump recovery as well. You know, what's going through your mind when you see the ball on the ground? Uh, be a football player. I've been doing things I was six years old, so I mean, like, it was kind of natural for me, you know, trust my technique that my coaches gave me. Yeah, be a football player. Have you ever played with any kind of guardian cap on? Uh, no, sir. I'm always been careful. Do you know when you ever talk to someone who has one that can explain how it maybe would impact your playing, whether it's the feel, comfortability, or just maybe it feels like extra weight on you? How did you grade out at Cal, and where's the growth potential for you in the next four years? Um, I graded out pretty good. Um, I think we have a, we've had a, a lot of growth this season. Uh, as you can see, DeMarcus is, is playing as well, number one. And we we're both young guys, so I think we've been presented, we've been presented with a lot of growth opportunities to uh, play in real games. And yeah, can't wait to be Cal's for it. With the opportunity there, how much do you feel like your play at Cal helped you to be you know, a bigger part of that rotation as well? Um, I think it just showed the coaches that I can play mm -hmm. the game. You know, with me being thrown into the fire late, late in the Syracuse game and being started in the first first half of the Cal game just to show the coaches that I can't be trusted and I can't play. So, yeah. How much confidence did you get from when DeMarcus went out you know, and you got to play ahead of that? Thank you. For. It was a huge confidence build. Huge confidence build. I know you all take it, you know, game by game, week by week. But how how big was it to get that win at Cal, and just in in terms of the the momentum it could give you for the rest of the season? It was huge, man. It was like a bunch of lifting off like that. It was, it was big. What? Why? Why is that? Uh, just, just you know, we're not used to losing like that here. So I mean, just to have that win and, and just break that little losing streak we had, it was, it was big. Man. It was big. You guys came into the year with, with such high expectations exactly. after the, the going into the bye. Has Coach Thorne kind of level set or changed those expectations? Like, how, how has he sort of modified what you guys are, are going after at this point? Uh, he stayed the same throughout the whole time. He stayed even killed. He didn't change. You know, Coach Thorne's been the same guy no matter what, he, what kind of circumstances or um, adversity he's been hit with. We all stayed the same, stayed true to what um, our program has and our values we have as a program. So, we've been doing a great job of just keeping us motivated, keeping us grinded. How much different is this year's bye week compared to the last year coming off a win and instead of like a loss that you didn't catch up? Um, it's not really different. At all. I mean, we both we've just been going to work every single year, man. Just going to work, nothing, no drop off, no not taking any days off, no reps off, just still coming every day to work. So, yeah. How have how your, your older brothers and yeah. your dad kind of put things in perspective for you and keep keep you working hard? What, what role did they play? Yeah, they, they played a um, huge role. You know, having a father that played the league and having two older brothers that played college ball as well, just this giving me a different perspective. You know, a lot of times everything's not going to look good, look sunny, but, you know, they just give me perspective and giving me um, things and nuggets to have, to have as my career goes on. So, yeah. What's the biggest thing you've taken from them? Uh, just trusting the process. Trusting the process and staying ready so you got to get ready. You know, you never know who your number's going to be called. So when your number is called, you gotta stay ready and be ready to attack the opportunity. That helped this year. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. How, how is Micah doing? He's doing good. He's um now he's getting his degree, he's going to seminary school, he wants to go into ministry. So yeah, he's doing great. How much did work on special teams help you as well to yes, kind of be prepared for your time on the field? Yes, sir. It definitely helped just uh, get used to the game speed and yeah, it helped a lot. What are you seeing uh, from Stanford uh, as as you prepare for them this weekend? What do we see from Stanford? Yeah. Uh, I see they're 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 a good team, but we got we got to come to play like we always do. I mean they got they got a good receiver number thirteen. I think Quinn Bruce had a pretty good year, but we're gonna keep doing what we're doing, prepare for any opponent that we got, and I'm ready to play on Saturday. Given the fact that their quarterback is a true a true dual threat, yeah. you know that will run the football constantly. How much priority are you guys putting on that this week to make sure that you limit what he's able to do with his legs? Just trust our keys, play our play our rules, and not be not do too much. Just trust our players, just trust the guys around us. And, Play hard. So. What do you like about playing in Naples? Uh, I like the uh, different things we can do. Blitzing, playing, playing in coverage, playing in zone. Just a lot of things I, we can do to just play my strengths and my games. So, I love it. What's the hardest part about playing inside like that versus on the outside? Um, I'll say just taking on the bigger bodies. Me, not me, me being not a, a, the biggest person. Uh, <laughs> just taking on blocks and all those other things. Probably I say the most challenging thing, but. I mean, I like context, so it's not really huge.
a mystery relish in that challenge. So, sorry to interrupt a little bit there. Try to mystery relish in that challenge as a smaller guy to go up against bigger guys and show what you can do. Sure, for me, I feel like I'm Adam on the field. So like, I don't care how big he is. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the same. I'm going to change how I play. It's change my speed. So, so are we going to see Jimmy down an O-lineman like uh, Amari Campbell did for Carolina last week? Yeah, yes. You may. You may. You may. Don't be surprised if you do. <laughs> 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 <la